Hi everyone, hopefully okay. So today I thought I'd film kind of my tanning routine, like what kind of products I use, um, how I use them, and then kind of what I use kind of afterwards to kind of get that kind of bronzy, um, kind of dewy glow, because a lot of you kind of asked me, so I thought I'd kind of include it all in one kind of video. So, um, basically I love being tanned. It's very rare that you will see that I am pale. Um, at the moment I've got a bit of a natural tan because it was really sunny the past couple of weeks so I kind of had a natural tan so I haven't got any fake tan on at the moment but in all my other videos um, the tan that I'm wearing is what I'm about to tell you. So I'm going to go through the whole kind of process from kind of start to finish and first of all um, usually it's like a big cycle so usually I'm kind of getting rid of a fake tan um, it's very kind of rare that I'm going from kind of just kind of like natural skin so I always kind of start by using these exfoliating gloves which I found over the years of tanning that these are the best things to get rid of kind of stubborn fake tan and to kind of give your skin like a really kind of good exfoliating these are really cheap I think I picked these up from Tesco for about one pound you can get them from like places like Primark Boot, Superdrug all over the place and what I do is I lava these up with um, shower gel and just basically give my body a really really good scrub it kind of gets rid of any kind of fake tan it's kind of left on my body and it's kind of just gives me a really good base to kind of start the whole process and um, yeah so I completely would recommend using these I think that they're kind of a lot better than just using an exfoliator on their own you kind of really really get rid of all the kind of stubborn and fake tan marks so yeah definitely recommend picking up some exfoliating gloves if you're big into your tanning so the fake tan that I use my favorite one at the moment is Zentan Dark Lotion. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, I'm almost out of it and I'm like, oh, it's a good job it's on my summer because, uh, well it is summer, it's a good job that it's summer so that I don't have to kind of use it. Um, but I absolutely love this. This is the Dark Lotion. It is, um, it gives you a really gorgeous kind of natural olive brown colour. It makes you look like you've just kind of stepped off a plane and you've been in the Caribbean for the past two weeks. Um, it also smells quite nice, it smells a kind of marzipan when you put it on and it is really kind of long wearing, it lasts about a week it probably lasts about six days before you start to notice that it's starting to fade um, or that it's starting to patch it doesn't patch like at all which is brilliant because um, I know that some fake tans they kind of can go really patchy and horrible but this is a really nice long lasting one and I know that with some things you don't have to spend a lot of money to get good stuff but I honestly do believe that with fake tan you have to spend those extra pounds to get a good quality one and I know it's really annoying to hear but I'm kind of glad that I finally took the bullet and bought this because it's probably the best fake tan that I've ever used so yeah that's the dark lotion I absolutely love this and cannot recommend it enough it's the only fake tan that I kind of use these days and yeah, it's brilliant. I will definitely be repurchasing this when it runs out. Now, I tend to use a kind of a more cheaper fake tan on my legs because, well, I always like to do a full body fake tan, but like in the winter, obviously, I don't get my legs out very often, but I kind of feel bad leaving them like white while the rest of me is brown. So I tend to use a cheaper fake tan because... Um, if I used Zentan on my legs as well, I probably would get through it a lot, lot quicker. So I use St. Moritz is dark lotion on my legs, and I find that my legs don't patch as often um, with the rest of my body. I think it's probably because I don't get them out as much in the winter. Um, obviously now that it's summer, I've got a natural tan. But yeah, I just use this because it is pretty brilliant for like £2.99. Um, it gives you a really good tan. It's 200 mil, so there's like you get a lot for your money. And... Yeah, I mean I have got some gripes of this, I used to use this as like an all over body tan basically for about two years but then I kind of got fed up with the fact that it doesn't last very long, it lasts about two days before it starts to go like fade and go patchy, it patches really really bad, like really really awfully bad um, and it's got, really, it's got that horrible kind of fake tan smell but it's, it's fine for your legs, you can use, it gives you a really nice dark colour, it's, it's really good basically. Um, but it's not really for me on the top of my body. I have used it for like loads of times, but if you're on a budget, then I completely would recommend picking up um, St. Moritz. And they've also brought out a lotion, which I'm kind of really eager to try because I've heard that that's like a bit better than the mousse. So maybe I'll try that at some point and maybe I'll be like, ah, just dropped it. Yeah, so St. Moritz, definitely worth picking up if you're on a budget. It's, it is good, but be warned, it's not gonna last as long as kind of more expensive fake tans. So to kind of um, keep my fake tan kind of nice and fresh 
and I also use this on the kind of difficult parts of my body so for example my kind of hands and my feet I use the Centrope Everyday Body Moisturiser in medium to dark now this is a gradual tanner so basically it's got a very kind of subtle colour to it um, so it's also great, I also use this to top up my tan during the week, so after about three to four days if I'm thinking, oh yeah, it needs a bit of a top up, I will put this on and it will kind of make sure that I look really nice and kind of tanned again. Um, it really kind of boosts your tan, it smells really nice, it kind of sinks into the skin really nice, it doesn't feel like fake tan at all, which I really, really like because it means you can put it on in the morning and you're not going to feel like you've got fake tan on all day. So yeah, so I really like this and um, what I do with my hands, because I know hands are really difficult to tan because you don't want to put pure fake tan on them because your hands like really absorb the colour so it means they'll go like really really orange and that's always the telltale sign that you've got a fake tan on so you want to make them look as natural as possible. So I use mostly the gradual tanner and then I pop a tiny bit of the dark lotion to just kind of get kind of the same colour and then I just kind of rub it into my hands, my fingertips and my wrists and it gives you like a really nice natural kind of colour to the hands. So yeah, I really like the Saint Tropez one. They also do a light to medium one too if you've got fairer skin. And it just gives it a really nice kind of golden glow. Um, so yeah, definitely worth picking up. You can get Saint Tropez from like Boots too. And I think this is about £14. Also, check out like TK Maxx. They usually have Saint Tropez products for a lot, lot cheaper. So yeah, this isn't too expensive at all. And it's 200 mil, so you like, got a lot for your money. For my face. I use the Zentan Face Tanner Looks in the Medium to Dark and I got this from Feel Unique and it smells absolutely gorgeous. I did used to just use like Zentan on my face um, but I find that sometimes it's a little bit too dark and it can kind of sometimes break you out a little bit so I thought I'll get a specific tan for your face and I really, really like this. It smells absolutely gorgeous. Um, it smells of like chocolate and I always kind of want to eat it when I put it on and I was like, no Corrie, don't eat it. Um, but it just gives a really nice kind of natural kind of sun-kissed colour and what I tend to do is obviously because I use a lot of skincare products, fake tan on my face doesn't last very long at all. So every kind of couple of days I put a little bit on a cotton pad and pop this over my face and it just gives a real kind of natural glow. Um, it's just really nice. It's it smells nice, it doesn't make you look like an umpa lumper, so yeah, definitely a winner, and I think this is only about £14 from Feel Unique, um, and Feel Unique, they always kind of do offers, so it's definitely worth checking out, because I think I got that from about £12, which isn't too bad. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I always apply my fake tan with a tannin mitt, um, I never use my hands, because I find that fake tan is really hard to get off your hands, um, so yes, yeah, so I always use a tannin mitt, so I think this one is a Zen Tan one, but you can literally buy them from wherever you can buy them from Primark for about a pound. So yeah, definitely pick one of these up because it just means that you'll get more of an even tan. And also it kind of covers a large kind of circumference area. So it means you can do like your arm in kind of one big swoop. So yeah, definitely recommend using a tan mitt when you're doing a fake tan. Now to kind of keep my tan kind of as long lasting as possible, I moisturise twice a day. And I just use whatever kind of moisturiser at the time. Try not to use them with an oil in. Oil can like dislodge the particles of fake tan I think and it makes it fade a lot lot quicker so try to not use like a body oil or anything like that I tend to use body butters such as the coconut one from the body shop and I'm currently using one from Treacle Moon which I think is called coconut and cream and I did look in the greens and I do have oil in but I've never had a problem with them kind of fading my fake tan or anything so yeah, also the Garnier one in the green bottle, I really like that one too. And by moisturising twice a day, it just means that your fake tan is going to last longer because it means your skin is nice and moisturised, so it's going to hold on to it. Now, makeup wise, um, a lot of you ask how I can I get like, my bronze kind of glowy skin. I'm just going to show you these two products that I've been using recently in like my most recent videos. And to kind of keep up with a sun kiss look, I use um, this bronzer from Bobbi Brown and it is the shade natural and it gives a really nice kind of this is probably the most kind of natural bronzer that I have because you put this on and it makes you actually look like you have got a tan on your face it makes you look like you have been sitting out in the sun all day um, so yeah I tend to put this on like my nose, my temple, um, under the cheeks, the jaw, my chin so basically all of my face um, so yes yeah, so I really like that and I think it's a really great bronzer 
Um, if Bobbi Brown isn't in your kind of price range, I would also recommend the Bourgeois Chocolate Bronzer. I know it has a proper name, but everyone knows it as the Chocolate Bronzer. That is um, also a matte kind of bronze, and it smells of chocolate. So I think that's about six, seven pounds. It's a lot, lot cheaper. And then to get that kind of glowy look, I tend to use Sunbeam, which is a liquid highlighter from Benefit. And it's kind of a bronzy, goldy colour, so it's perfect for kind of complementing the tan. And what I do is I put it on like the tops of my cheeks, my nose, my brow bone, and a tiny little bit on my chin. And it just gives a really nice kind of glow to the skin. It kind of just makes you look really kind of radiant and glowy, and it really kind of works well with the tan. So yeah, I've been really loving that at the moment too. Unfortunately, I don't know our high street drugstore dupe for that because I think it's, um, I don't know many bronze liquid highlighters out there, but hopefully one will come out soon if kind of that is a bit out of your price range. So yes, yeah, so that's my kind of fake tan products, what I use, how I use them, how I maintain the tan, how I get like a glowy look. So I hope you've kind of found it useful. Um, I think I've kind of covered everything, but if you've got any more questions, then leave them down in the comments below and I will get back to you. So yeah, so apart from that, um, thanks for all watching. Remember, if you've got any requests for videos, please, please let me know. Um, so yeah, I hope you'll have a brilliant day and I'll see you soon. Bye!